Good morning, everybody. Today we are going over the filters Crop and Feather, Crosshatch, Day into Night, and Dazzle. Now, the Crop and Feather is very similar to the basic crop that you have here in your inspector, but it has a few other options. First off, there is no type of crop, so there's no trim, crop, or Ken Burns, and there's other options besides just the left, right, top, and bottom. If I were to take this and go to Crop Mode, you can see I have a positive and a negative. And what it would do is it would basically zoom in slightly according to what I'm cropping to try to fit it within the area. And that's if I'm using the crop function. If I'm actually using the trim function, I can slice off pieces of it like this. And if I'm using the Ken Burns function, it basically will automatically crop it for me. And you can see it's kind of slightly zooming out right here. So as I throw a picture that's maybe in portrait mode, it will try to find a place and, and throw it in there. And then there's some options on the Ken Burns that I have for being able to move it around in certain ways. Okay, so let's go back here. This is regular. Now let's use the crop and feather filter. And what this does, when we go to our video and we go up here to, oh, let's get rid of crisp contrast. Sorry about that. When we go up here and we have crop and feather, you have a width. It's going to crop both sides evenly. So you have a width and you have a height. Now this is great for doing letterboxing or pillar boxing. so on and so forth. Okay, now let's look at roundness. What this will do is round out the corners. Watch what it does. It's pretty neat. Kind of makes it look like the old cinema look. All right, and now we have feather. And as we feather to the right, it will push out and blur to the right. And if we feather to the left, it will push in and blur to the left. Well, to the inside, I should say. To the right is to the outside and to the left is to the inside. And what this does is it basically just kind of blurs the edges and you go inside or outside. So if you if you want to feather it here and you want this to come back, if you bring your width in and your height down and feather to the right, you can see what it's doing there. And if you brought your width and your height as high as you could and brought your feather back, you would see what it's doing there. Okay, and then last of all, you have your position. Let's bring this down a bit. And your position um, is essentially where the crop is going to be. So even though it brings your left and your right in evenly, you can change your position and move your crop to the left and the right or to the up and down however you want. Okay, and there's no Ken Burns option or anything like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of that and let's go with Crosshatch. Crosshatch kind of gives a paper look, kind of similar to that, um, what was it called? Aged paper. It kind of gives a, um, a canvasy, papery look to it. Gran pizzero. All right. Now on this one, you have intensity. So how much can canvas paper mix we have and sepia amount. And this removes the skin tones and any colors there. And then you can use desaturate. And desaturate will make it go to a black and white, but kind of with a brownish tint. But if you desaturate, it does not infect the intensity. Okay, let's drop that out of there and go into day and night or day into night. Basically, it just makes everything look like it's supposed to be dark. You have an amount or your mix. You have match iMovie, which 
it's darker when you don't match iMovie. If you do match iMovie, you can see some of the details, more of the details in the dark areas. You have your protect skin, which we've seen a few times before, but this is very similar to the, um, I believe it is the cool tones one where it kind of includes a little too much. Let's go back and see if we have a moldy pizza. Not really. On this one, you don't have a moldy pizza as much. And then you have your brightness, which you can burn it or just bring it up. Make people think that you are working at night with all this brightness. All right, let's play that. You can see this kind of graininess kind of jumping around. That's one of the reasons why the Protect skin is not that great. Without it, you don't have it. With it, it just does it all over the place. Okay, and now let's try Dazzle. Dazzle is a glow filter. Dazzle is one of these. The only difference is Dazzle has spikes, and you'll see them right here. What we're going to do is we're going to bring up the amount, and you can see the spikes here. And I'm going to move the angle, and you'll be able to see them for sure. Okay, so what it does is it finds objects that are highlights and puts this really bright glow around them. All right. Now, there's a color here, and the color does not affect the glow. The color affects only the tint. So if you turn this option on, it will tint the color of whatever you put here. So if I choose blue... Now everything's tinted blue, but it does not affect anything once I turn the tint off. Okay, we have an amount, we have an angle, we've already gone through those two, so let's go with brightness. Brightness affects whether the glow is really bright or really dark, because you can go that direction too. Although you won't see much of a dazzle in the darkness, you do kind of right here, you can see some spikiness. See it rotating? And here around his lips and his nose, it was doing it as well. There we go. All right. So our brightness affects how bright the glow is, how much burn or how much crunch we have. And the threshold affects what our brightest point is. So, for example, if I just want this little highlight right here and these highlights to be highlighted. You can see the dazzle star kind of turning. And if I wanted everything to be really, really bright and washed out, but not so bright, maybe have a starker contrast, that'll do it right there. All right, and spike count basically just makes that count go up. Bring the threshold up a bit. Okay. So those were those four filters. We had Crop and Feather, Crosshatch, Day and the Night, and Dazzle. Let's go ahead and toss that. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or leave me a comment. And I'm going to continue. And my next lesson will be Decal, Desert Glare, Directional, and Draw Mask. These are kind of fun. They'll take a little bit longer. All right, thank you very much for watching.